Joining us now is the Executive Vice President and CEO of the National Rifle Association, Wayne LaPierre. Welcome. Uh, Thank you, John. Senator Feinstein wants legislation to ban bump fire stocks. What's the NRA position yeah. on that? You know, can I say first, th this has been a tragic week. I mean, we had NRA members out there in the middle of that tragedy. We had NRA families. We had families wounded out there. It's just been horrible. But to the people that are trying to politicize this tragedy, I would say this. There are monsters like this monster out there every day. There are menaces out there every day. People want to be able to protect themselves. That's why they support this freedom. All the elites that have been speaking out this past week, they all want to protect themselves. If they all protect themselves with armed security. I mean, they, they criticize the NRA. You want to talk about irresponsible use of firearms? The number one person teaching irresponsible use of firearms is, is all these elites' employer. The Hollywood television gaming industry, we spend millions teaching responsible use of firearms. They make billions every single day, John, teaching irresponsible use of firearms. They're so hypocritical, it's unbelievable. But is it really an elite position for a person to think if there is evil in the world, perhaps there should be something that makes a little harder for the evil person to get their hand on something that can fire bullets with such rapidity and then bump fire stocks which make it a bit uh, available to file them even fast that's not elite that's just somebody trying to figure out how to have less people be dead well i do think this i mean if we could legislate morality we would have done it long ago i mean as we talked before paris wouldn't have happened they outlaw fully automatic guns brussels uh, San Bernardino, California has every gun law under the sun, it still happens. I mean, the bad people could care. But on, on bump stocks, let me say this. The fact is that, that there, the Obama administration a couple years ago legalized a device, their ATF, that fuzzed the line between semi-automatics and fully automatics. And if we're able to fuzz that line, all semi-automatics at risk are at risk. I've been arguing for Diane Feinstein for years, has been trying to ban semi-autos, saying a semi-auto is a semi-auto, semi-auto. Auto. It's not an assault weapon, like you say, Diane Stein fine, and it's not a machine gun. But in if if you fuzz the line, they're all at risk, and we're not gonna let that happen. Well, let's let's not fuzz the line. She says this specific piece of legislation just bans bump fire stock. So does the NRA support that or no? The ATF, it's illegal to convert a semi-automatic to a fully automatic. ATF needs to do its job. They need to look at this and do its job. Her argument is, and the ATF says, they can't rule on this. It's out of their purview that it has to be done in legislation. So I, is, is the NRA position it can't be done through legislation or you oppose it? Where are you on this? No, we think ATF ought to do its job, look at this, and, and draw a bright line. If I'm a Republican and I'm a fan of the NRA, do I want to say no or yes to legislation that does this? I think you want to tell ATF to do its job. It's an interpretive issue, and they need to get the job done. The it, uh, and, but not let Dianne Feinstein, which is what she wants to do, turn this all into some Christmas tree on the Hill where she brings all her anti-gun well, circus she's been trying to do for years into this. Here's the, I here's, mean, here's the problem people have with the NRA, is they hear you say that, and basically yeah. they say, what Mr. LaPierre is trying to do is tell any gun uh, owner that any measure to regulate guns of any kind is really an effort to take their guns away, therefore they should be fearful, that you're basically trying to scare them. We have all kinds of gun laws on the books right now, John. We don't enforce any of them. If somebody wanted to do something about Chicago, enforce the federal gun laws right now. It, it, felon touches a gun five years in prison. Drug dealer, 10 to 20. Look Criminal gang member 10 to 20. I mean, Diane Feinstein, universal checks she's been talking about this last week. There's not a gang member in Chicago that's going, hey, I'm going to get you, but first I have to go through Diane Feinstein's background check. Let me it's it's nonsense. Well, let me, stepping back, does the NRA, is the NRA position that you're okay with the current restrictions against fully automatic? We have supported the existing law on fully automatic firearms. And what we don't want is we don't want the line to be fuzzed because if you fuzz the line you're putting every semi-automatic firearm for years and I've corrected Diane Feinstein over and over and over when she says assault weapons they're fully automatic guns I said they're not but if somebody fuzzes a line you're putting every semi-automatic firearm at risk but to be fair to Senator Feinstein she didn't fuzz the line in the conversation we just had she was actually per perhaps because over the years you have come out on the winning end of these arguments said that this only deals with this one specific bump fire stock. So in this case, the line is not being fuzzed. 
Well, I mean, the, 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 the fact is the bump stock does fuzz the line, though, and that's why ATF needs to do its job. But we really need to get back. I mean, if we're going to do something, let's do something meaningful. I mean, the outrage they're trying to stir against the NRA, they ought to be stirring against a mental health system, which is completely collapsed. All the police officers know it. They're back on the streets. We've dumped it on the police officers. We ought to enforce the federal gun laws and do something about our criminal justice system, which is catch and release. Places like D.C. are second chance cities. Well, the second chance is taken out against the good guys. Have you talked to President Trump about any of this? You know, I have not. I think some people in our have talked to talk to the administration, but we have let them know where we stand. But when it comes down to it, at 2 a.m., if your glass breaks in the middle of the night, there's not a government authority on the planet that substitutes for your right to own a firearm. People want to be able to protect themselves when they cross a state line. That's why we're fighting for reciprocity. It's about the good guys protecting themselves. Let me ask you about reciprocity. Federalism suggests the states should make their laws. 32 states, I think, have said they don't want reciprocity. Why should the federal government come in and tell the states what to do? Well, 42 states now have good carry laws. And the fact is, I don't think those states have a problem with their folks protecting themselves when they cross a state line. I mean, you, the honest people, nobody should be forced to face evil with, with, with empty hands. And the fact is, we don't want the honest people crossing a state line, somebody that ought to be in jail, inflicting evil on them, and then the honest person going, oh, no, not me. That's their last words. The people from the other side see this, and they say, why are, is it so easy to get very lethal weapons? Is that just the price of freedom, in your view? Criminals could care less. I mean, you know, accessibility is about accessibility for the good guys. That's what the Second Amendment's all about. And as I've said all along, the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with but a gun. But in this case, no good guys with a gun. I mean, okay. you had members of the band saying if they pulled out their weapons, they were afraid they would get shot. Well, the, I'll tell you, in Las Vegas, the first thing I heard people say when they sheltered in place is somebody said, hey, do you want a gun? I mean, does anybody have a gun? So is your when, view when, it would have helped in Las Vegas? I, I, finally, good guys with guns got there. I mean, the guy killed himself first, but thank God there were good guys with guns on the way. I mean, Diane Feinstein wants this utopian world without guns. She said, if I could go door to door and pick them off, I would. But the fact is, in that utopian world, what what every time bad happens, evil happens, it's good guys with guns that stop it. All right, we're out of time. Thanks so much, Mr. Thanks, Foster. John. Thanks for having me. And we'll be back in a minute.